know what's going on guys, today I'm going to be taking the Survivor 45 cast and throwing them into The Sims 4 to see what happened. And the first player I chose to incorporate into this was the boy Bruce. He is looking very snazzy, he looks exactly like he does in the show. I made sure to get his bald head perfectly resembled. And the next person up is Drew Basil, and you know, he looks pretty accurate to what he looks like in the actual show, you know. I couldn't find his exact shirt that he wears in his cast photo, but you know, I, I did my best. Uh, I made sure to make him look as dorky as possible. And next up, we have Katara Tops. She looks very accurate to her actual appearance on Survivor, except for the gosh dang skirt theme Bob thing she has going on here. But, I did make sure to get all of her attributes very akin to what she is on Actual Survivor. So we have evil, hates children, and mean. And next up we have Jake O'Kane, and he is definitely the thickest player on this season. Sheesh! And the next person up is Austin, and I tried my best to find the hair that would best resemble him, and unfortunately, the game does not like Austin, so they didn't give me the hair option. And the next person up is Old Lady. Now, I don't know who this is exactly, but I'm pretty sure she was on Survivor 45, I think. I can't remember though, so I'm not sure if she looks accurate or not. And then we have Emily Flippin, and I'm gonna just be honest. This is by far the most accurate I have ever been in creating a sim. She looks just like Emily. Even her hair looks just like Emily's hair and her face. Whenever I see that, I just see a racist person. So it's a really good job at imitating Emily. And then obviously the last person we have is Jeff Probst, the legend himself. And yeah, um, he looks very accurate to himself. You know, he has the gray hair like he has in real life because he's old. But yeah, let's see what kind of wacky shenanigans these guys get up to if we throw them all in the same spot. Okay guys, here's the big old family all together. And, uh, and here's, here's their living space. And I know what you're thinking. Is this is this all I'm going to give them to live off of? <laughs> of course not. I'm not an I'm not a monster. Okay, guys, are you ready for the grand reveal of where our survivor players will be staying? Ta-da! Look, it's everything they could ever possibly want. We have a giant, massive toilet over here with a smaller toilet beside it, so our players can actually go to the bathroom. And then we have a stove, a refrigerator and a countertop. And then we got one singular bed. So I guess everyone else can like sleep on the ground. And then this is my favorite thing. We have two showers right next to each other, both face, both facing each other. So the player, the players will have to look at each other and they're taking a shower. Okay guys, let's, let's see our, let's see the reaction from, from these guys. If they, if they like the house or not. They love it. Um, guys. Katora is already being rude to Bruce, and it's been like three and a half seconds. Looks like someone's going to be spending some time in the penalty box. This is what you get for being rude to Bruce, you absolute dingus. Oh, it looks like it looks like Jake is taking a little boat ride. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Jeff, put your hat back on. Your old hair is showing. What are you doing, man? Have some decency. Wow, move over, D and Drew. We might be seeing the new Reba 4 form right here. This is crazy. And Julie and Drew are having a horrible time because a black man just approached them. And Jake is just still on his boat. <laughs> Pro has not left that thing. Yeah, it just, it just seems like everyone's having a great time in the water. Except for Katar over here. And Bruce is the first person to sleep in the bed. And he's wearing a do-rag. That's gotta be racist, bro. And Drew is sleeping in the boat. Very smart tactic there, Drew. Bro, you need to wash your body off. You are literally standing in water. Just like, get down a little bit deeper and, and you'll be fine. Oh, I think Jeff and Emily are bonding over their racism. This is a very big moment in Survivor history. This is very cool. And, um, the old lady is making a sandcastle, apparently. Sure, why not? Embody your childhood from freaking 1837. And Jakey Boy decides to take a nap on the ground. And Bruce is impressing everyone with his very swag sit-up game. You can just see how impressed she is by her facial expression. That is one impressed person. <coughs> now, I know what you all are thinking. How is Katora doing? Not very well. Okay guys, I think we should take some of the gang and do a little field trip. Let's just go to this random person's house. We're gonna go there with who the freak is this? What is what? Is, who is this person? 
Is, is this Survivor 46, I'm guessing, that I don't, that I don't know about, bro? Well, we're going to go there with Drew, Bruce, Jake, and Old Lady. Guys, I have a very funny idea to do with my boy Drew. I am going to make this lady fall in love with Drew and then steal her entire house. Okay, guys, it appears this person is not a very smart individual because they do not want to fall in love with this hot smoking guy right here what is this lady's problem bro guys i feel stupid obviously she wants to be with bruce instead of drew over here I i'm so dumb guys i think this female is a lost cause because she does not want to get with the boy drew or the boy bruce and let's be honest like who else who else do we really have that she could fall in love with like <laughs> come on she's not gonna like look look at how ugly Austin is. she's not gonna fall in love with that guy he, he looks terrible, bro. And I don't know why, but for some reason, Jake is just staring at this this young child, which is very scary. And the old lady just started to start sleeping in this random person's bed. I'm pretty sure that is a felony. And I know what you all are thinking. While all of our other sims are having fun at this house, how is Katora doing? Not very good. And Emily is using the computer to look up new racial slurs. Tisk 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 Emily. And now Jeff is going on Twitter and sending death threats to anyone who likes Survivor 43. Austin is sweaty and miserable. Is this a sure sign that he dislikes fitness? I mean probably. And now we have a Survivor band. We have Jake on the piano, Bruce on the bass, Jeff on the guitar, and Drew on the backyard observatory. Now let's see how they sound. That is very pretty. Guys, what is with all this trash everywhere? We have like 37 trash cans right here. Well guys, that's going to be the end of this goofy video. If you guys want me to make more Sims 4 Survivor content for some reason, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. This was a terrible idea.